Hello and welcome to English School Online and to our focus on how to speak English clearly. This is the place to come to learn professional English pronunciation and if you feel like you would be a different person if you spoke English with good pronunciation and you know that it would help you to be more confident, have more influence in the language and to have more personality when you speak English then subscribe for English pronunciation tutorials that come out on a weekly basis. Today we're going to be looking at the er sound, the long English vowel sound er, and you're going to learn how to compare it with other long English vowel sounds, which is really going to help you to learn the vowel sound correctly and more quickly as well. So we're going to look at the sound, I'm going to give you a brilliant exercise to compare it to the other long vowel sounds in English and this is going to be really really helpful for actually comparing it in the mouth to other long English vowel sounds and then I'm going to give you a few different words to put the sound into to really help you to focus on speaking and pronouncing it correctly. So let's dive in, thumbs up if you like the video, you're going to get tons from it and watch until the end for some really really useful tips that are coming right at the end of the video. First of all, why do so many people find long English vowel sounds so difficult to pronounce? Well the reason is this, many languages all around the world don't contain long vowel sounds. They contain short vowel sounds, so learning short English vowel sounds might not be so difficult, but when it comes to long English vowel sounds, you're doing things with your mouth that you just don't normally do in your native language. So the purpose of this tutorial is to really enable you to actually train your mouth in a way that is correct and it's going to be really effective in helping you to actually consistently get these long vowel sounds correct in English. So that's why people find these vowel sounds difficult. The er sound, the long English vowel sound er, as in her or shirt, it comes from the middle of the mouth. So you've got front vowel sounds like e, you've got back vowel sounds like r or or, and you've got middle vowel sounds. The only long English vowel sound that comes from the middle of the mouth is er, er, er. So if you look at my mouth, it's halfway open, er, er, er. And the tongue, the positioning of the tongue, means that the vowel sound is coming from the middle of the mouth. What I find when I'm teaching this long vowel sound, I find that a lot of people have difficulty and that their tongue sometimes comes forward like this, er, uh, er, uh, er, uh, which gives it a much higher pronunciation. And what they're doing is they're trying to bring their tongue down, which is good, but the back of the tongue is still high. What I'm going to do now is compare it to three other long vowel sounds in English, and that's really going to help you to actually feel where this one should be in your mouth in comparison to the other vowel sounds. So we're not going to compare it to the long English vowel sound E because that comes from the front of your mouth in a closed position and it doesn't have much relevance to the er sound. What I'm going to compare it to is the long English vowel sound U, OR and R. And those three long vowel sounds all come from the back of my mouth. From a height perspective, Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are my lips wide open or close together? Ooh, ooh, ooh. My jaw is close together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, moving down the mouth, we get to the position where the jaw is half open, and that's where we have the er uh sound. So that's going to be second in the exercise of comparison. Then, if we open our mouth three quarters of the way, 75% we get the OR vowel sound, as in LAW, or COURT, or WAR, okay? And then if you open your mouth the whole way, at the back of the mouth, you get the long English vowel sound 
آ آ آ از این کار Okay. Er uh is a really important vowel sound to get correct because it comes in the middle of the mouth. It's used in so, so many English words, in particular in common words like were, okay? We were, you were. So it's really important to get this one correct. So let's dive in and actually put these four different long English vowel sounds into an exercise where you can start feeling how the different positions in your mouth compare to one another. Okay, so listen to me doing the exercise first and then repeat along with me. It might feel like this is quite a repetitious exercise, but the reason why that's beneficial is by repeating, you're going to actually feel for yourself where the correct position is for these vowel sounds. So let's dive in to the exercise. Ooh, uh, O, A, U, A, O, A, U, A, O, A, U, A, O, A. Okay. Pause there. Pay attention to my lips. U, O, A, rounded. R at the bottom, my lips are unrounded, and er, er, my lips are just relaxed. Er, the best way to think about the er sound is, imagine you're thinking, trying to think of a word in English, and you're there having an English conversation, and you're thinking, uh, what's that word I want to use? Uh, 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 that's it. That's the er sound in English. So my lips, er, are relaxed. My tongue, you want the tip of your tongue behind your gum, like this. Uh, uh, uh. And the real point to be aware of is back here, the back of the tongue, that's just low down and relaxed in the mouth. And this is the real difficulty that a lot of people find, is keeping the back of the tongue down in the mouth. I'm going to do the same exercise again now, and I want you to follow along with me. And this time I'm going to go closer to the camera so you can really see what my lips and mouth and tongue are doing. Okay, so let's go. And it's as simple as this. This exercise, this one exercise, is so, so, so valuable for you actually learning not just the er sound, but all of these four long English vowel sounds. So I really encourage you to spend a lot of time this week going through this exercise, record yourself doing it on your smartphone or um, whatever device you've got to record yourself, and then listen to it back and compare it to the exercise on this video. And you're gonna be able to train your hearing to hear, am I doing this correctly? If so, great. Or do you need to make some small adjustments to get it correct? Comment below and let me know how you find it. What is the difficulty that you're having with this vowel sound? And how do you find it comparing it to other vowel sounds, these other vowel sounds? comment below and then I'm going to be able to read your comments and get back to you um, on any specific points that you might be finding difficult, all right? Just in closing, I'm going to give you a really useful second part to this exercise, which is combining this exercise up with different letters. So I'm going to use the W sound in front of these four long vowel sounds now, just to give you a different context for you to train the same vowel sounds in. And then what you can do in your own time is add different consonants in front of these long vowel sounds to train it for yourself in different situations. I'm just gonna give you one example now to keep the video short and punctual, but I really encourage you then to do this yourself and use other consonants, M, N, P, B, T, S, V, V, in front of it as well. And that's really gonna train these vowel sounds and this exercise from all different angles, okay? So let's just have another go with the W sound in front. 
Woo, wa, wa, wa. 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 Okay? Simple as that. Keep it simple. Do this, and it's going to make a massive, massive difference in your English speech. Like the video if it's helped you, subscribe and turn notifications on if you really want to improve your confidence in your English speech, and keep an eye out on the channel for regular updates. I'm currently working on an English pronunciation course that's going to be launched very, very soon. So if you're watching this once the course is live already, then make sure to um, check it out. It's gonna be linked in the description below. And if you're a long-term fan and subscriber of the channel, then keep an eye out, and it's gonna be coming out very, very soon. I look forward to seeing you in next week's English pronunciation tutorial. See you next week.